right here to number two. Okay. So now in this case, we have two y equals. That's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. You just need one. So two is like bonus, all right? But you only need one, okay? So where do I take this 3x minus 8 and where do I put that in at? Put it in for the y, right? So this tells you what to replace. I'm replacing the y with 3x minus 8. All right, so in place of this y, I'm going to put 3x minus 8 equals 4 minus x. Okay, now it's just solving equations. John, what are we going to do here to solve? Um, uh, we're going to subtract the, or add the 8 to the 4. Okay, that'll work. So add the 8 over. So we get 3x. 12 minus x on the other side there. Okay, Link, what do we have to do now? Uh, the x's. <coughs> what do you do? Plus the x on the side. What are you going to get? Just, I'm going to guess 4x. How about no guess? Say it with some confidence. 4x. 4x equals 12. Okay, so then what's x going to equal here? 3. Good, so x will equal 3. Alright, so now you're going to take this. And we're going to plug it back in. Does it matter where we plug it in at up top? No. Nope. Just as long as it's one of the two originals, you're good. Okay? So you guys want the top one or the bottom one? Bottom. Bottom it is. <coughs> All right. So we're going to plug in right here. Okay. So y equals 4 minus 3. So y equals 1. So what's my coordinate point going to be here? 3, 1. 3, 1. Very good. Anybody have a question on that? Okay. Yeah, Bria? Um, but when you got the 4 down there, did you just divide the 3 over? 4. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I divided by 4. You get 3, is that what you're talking about? No, uh, when you got the 4 up there, did you divide, did you divide the 12 by 3? No, they added the x. I don't really know where you're at. You just tell me like where you're at here. Um, okay, so the four x equals twelve. Okay. So how do you get the four? Uh, three x plus one x. Okay. All right. Thanks. Anybody else? Okay. Flip over then. All right. So now, what's the problem with this guy? Well, we don't have an x or a y by itself, do we? Okay, could we fix that problem? Yes. Yeah, well, out of all of the, looking at all of that stuff, what do you think is going to be the easiest one to solve for? The top one. The top what? Equation. Like for which one? X or Y? You have to solve for anything now. Oh. You don't have to solve for Y anymore. For X. X. So you want to solve for X right here? Yeah. Okay, so don't write, just look real quick. So if I look at this, would you guys agree we're going to subtract the 7Y over? Yeah. 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 So we're going to get 2X equals 3 minus 7y, right? And then we have to divide everything by 2. Mm -hmm. So you have an x equals... Do you all like fractions? Yeah. No. Well, then why are you doing that to yourself? I look how horrid this is. Who wants to do that? I don't want to do that. I like math. <laughs> so, okay, well, so then let's solve for y. Okay, so he says, wait, just solve for y instead. So let's do that. So we subtract off the 2x, right? So 7y equals 3 minus 2x. And the divide by 7, does that look fun? No. no. Well, let's think. The bottom. bottom, which the one? one X, the X. Yeah, there we go. All right. Solve for this guy. If he's got a 1 in front, that's the dude you want to pick. All right? Because that means you don't have to divide and get fractions. Okay? So if I'm looking at this guy right here, how are we going to get the X by itself? What are we going to do? Sam? Add the 1. Yeah, just add the 1 over. Okay? So I'm going to have X equals... Negative 4y plus 1, adding the 1 over to the other side. Does everybody see that? So now, that looks way better, doesn't it? There's no fractions, it's not ugly. Oh, can you still put 1? Okay, okay, hang on. Give me a second. Okay, so we are looking for, write some notes down here, okay? So you solve for the variable. has a 1 or a negative 1 because that just means we got flip signs so that's not as hard. 
one or negative one out front. Okay, or coefficient is the vocabulary word for that. Coefficient of one. Okay, so when I look through all of these, I'm picking out the variable that has a one out front, which is this guy right here. Okay, now once you solve for this guy, so once you get the y equals or the x equals, the guy that you were messing with, he's out. Like, he's got, like, a knee injury. He's out of the game. He's out. He's in the locker room. All right? He's done for the day. Okay? So once you rewrite him, throw him out. Okay? Because you have the same equation. This just looks a little different, but it's the same thing. Okay? So you can't use these two. Once you solve, cross him off the list. He's out. Okay? So now you have an x equals. So where does this go? For the x, that's right. It's x equals, it goes in for the x. Okay? So we've got 2. In place of x, we have negative 4y plus 1 plus 7y equals 3. <clears throat> Let's stop there. Does anybody have a question about any of that so far? So like when you're replacing the equation, you do the x for the x and the y for the y. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. So now it's just solving an equation at this point. So how are we going to solve this? What's that going to look like? Maddie, you're up. You distribute the 2 to the negative 4y on the ground. Okay. So negative 8y plus 2 plus 7y equals 3. All right. What are we going to do now, Maisha? Okay, good. Put the guys together. So I have negative 8 and a positive 7. Negative 1. So negative 1. So negative 1y one plus 2 equals 3. Now what are we going to do? Subtract the 2. Subtract the 2 off. So negative 1y equals 1. So what's y going to equal? Negative 1. Negative 1. Everybody okay with that? Okay. All right. So now... Remember, this guy's out, so don't plug back into this guy. You're either going to pick this top guy right here, okay, or you're going to pick this guy right here. It doesn't matter, okay, but don't plug him back in there. So, y equals negative 1, first one or second one? <coughs> yeah, I would go the second one, too. If it's already an x equals a y equals, that's usually your easiest one to deal with, okay? So, since it's y equals negative 1, plug it back in. So, x equals negative 4 times negative 1 plus 1. Okay, so x equals 5 plus 1, which is 6. six. Oh, 5. Yes. Yeah, so where was I at on that? How about 4? Man, that's yeah. rough. Alright, so what's my coordinate point going to be then? It's going to be 5, negative 1. There you go. 5, negative 1 is your answer. That's where they cross. Okay, anybody have a question on that? Okay, so let's take a look at another one of those. 